We are back for some no-gi jiu-jitsu tonight, and we got a classic matchup. We got Jillian on the right, who's got more of a jiu-jitsu background, and we got Carly on the left, who's got a big wrestling background. Uh, Carly new to jiu-jitsu. Jillian's been kind of grappling for uh, maybe like five or six years. Uh, Jillian preparing for an MMA fight right now. Um, and uh, Carly's going to come in and give her some good looks for wrestling here. You see uh, a little apprehension from Carly kind of coming in, hesitant to get the grip biting going. Uh, Jillian doing a good job kind of taking control here at the start, but Carly's going to get a little bit more comfortable right away and just kind of body locks Jillian here and takes her down. We see Jillian start climbing up to a high close guard. Carly using a cross face here to kind of pry. I'd like to see Carly doing a better job keeping control of the hips here. Carly pinning that bottom leg looking to circle. Again putting good weight on uh, Jillian here. Jillian giving up a bit of weight against Carly uh, which I think will kind of help benefit her in the, the difference in the skill of jiu-jitsu you know. Uh, sometimes you take a wrestler that's a little bit heavier that knows how to use their weight. It'll make things a bit more competitive. Uh, Jillian doing a good job re retaining her guard here, moving into butterfly, looking to drag that arm across. Carly doing a good job pinning the hips here, staying heavy. And Jillian recovering her guard again. But Carly doing a good job staying aggressive here, trying to stay on top. And you see Carly doing a good job switching left to right here, trying to get her pass going. Trying to move into a, a reverse case Katame here to pin, moving in the north-south. Jillian doing a good job staying on her side, protecting her arms as she was in the turtle. And again, Carly trying to put her flat here. You see Carly circling. And again, just this battle to maintain that side control is where we're seeing these two go back and forth a lot, which is good. Um, you know, Carly getting a lot of near pass attempts. But uh, Jillian just managing to always recover her guard. We're seeing Jillian move into an omoplata attempt here. We'll see if she can get it. It'd be good to see Jillian either put her foot on the hip or on the mat and she could start angling out a little bit better. She could underhook the leg or hug the back here. Seeing a nice figure four. Uh, Carly doing a good job driving weight on top of Jillian here, making it hard for her to finish the sweep. Again, just getting that good angle here is what's making it hard. Uh, what Jillian needs to be doing here to is start breaking her posture, she needs to extend her legs forward. Uh, the more she extends her legs forward, the easier it's going to be for her to sit up. Now she's in a position where she could go omoplata crucifix, she just needs to underhook the arm. The more she angles out to the side, they would make that a little bit easier. Jillian gets some control on the hip. This is much better positioning. I'm a big fan of hand on the hip for the... Uh, for the omoplata position. Uh, I think that really helps maintain the position and keep good control. So here we go. Now we get a chance for Jillian to sit up. We'll see if she manages to get the sweep. But Carly just doing a good job staying heavy, keeping her weight on the arm, making it hard for her to finish. Again, Jill, uh, Carly just doing a great job staying heavy in the position, slowing things down, making it hard for Jillian. Again, Jillian just needs to do a better job kind of getting perpendicular here behind the back. If she could underhook this arm here, this arm in the corner, uh, it could make a really big difference for her uh, to get to a, a plot of crucifix position where she could get a, get a good finish. Yeah, Carly just needs to kind of get more comfortable with jiu-jitsu a bit more, still kind of learning her way to navigate through some of these submissions, but doing a good job staying heavy here, making things hard for Jillian. We're seeing Jillian maybe hit a backwards roll here. She can come out on top. Very close, very close. There we go, nice. And Jillian manages to come on top, stay on top in the... And uh, moves into side control. We see her start looking for a gift wrap. Jillian doing a good job kind of pinning now. So this is like Jillian's chance to go. Uh, especially after... Carly, Carly worked hard here in the beginning, doing a lot to kind of keep her weight on her, and keep Jillian pinned, so now Jillian being the lighter athlete, she needs to move and be faster. 
We'll see if she gets any opportunities to go for some submissions here. Carly doing a good job keeping her hands locked. Jillian needs a bit of posture, she should start prying those arms. Jillian rolling for the arm lock. Maybe being blocked a bit by the post here, making things a bit harder. But Carly doing a good job stacking, being heavy here. Very close on the arm. Let's see if she can get it. Yeah, it needs a bit more hip extension on this, just like keeping that pressure. And again, I think us just running out of space with the wall, making things harder as well. We'll see what happens here. Looks like Carly's going to be too heavy in this position now. I'd be looking to transition out. Usually I'd reset them if they were this close on the wall, but since uh, Jillian's getting ready for MMA, sometimes you get smashed up against the wall. It's good to kind of get used to playing that position out, you know? Uh, so I'll, I'll allow the wall to kind of stay in play in the post and stuff like that just, just when it comes up. It's not too common where that comes up. Again, J Jillian losing her angle on the arm lockdown. We'll see if she can finish it. She could maybe switch to a triangle, but I think it's too late now. And Carly doing a good job just getting heavy and smashing. Moving back into side control. So this is probably Carly's best time to go. Get a chance to get a little arm bar here from top. Jillian just doing a good job keeping her hips active. Manages to roll Carly over. Move back into the pass and move back into the mount. So we'll, she'll get another opportunity to finish here. We'll see if she can with what time she's got left. Yeah, she just might run out of time. Again, attacking the arm again. And time expires. So yeah, a really nice roll. I think the most interesting part for me was was the these almost plotted transitions. And this is like a really good example of kind of like uh, where we can kind of break this down better. I see this at a lot of beginners is they're really kind of or even experienced people like Jillian's got a fair amount of experience where th there people are quick to lock the figure four on the. Um, on the omoplata when really what Jillian wants to be doing here is focusing on extending her legs. This is what's going to kind of help break the posture here. Uh, she's doing an okay job like posting up on the elbow although I think the palm would be better for her to raise her level faster and then her right hand you really want tight to the hip or under hooking this arm. Again like you can see the, the gap here. If she could start under hooking Carly's arm this is what would allow her to enter uh, like an omoplata crucifix position. Uh, Omoplata Oma Crucifix has become really popular over the last like five, six years. Uh, I think it's a great position. I, I really work with a lot of my students on it. Um, and uh, I think it's just really effective. It's a bit more of an advanced interpretation of Omoplata, but I think it just offers so much control. And uh, you see this from a lot of people where they struggle to finish Omoplata when the person's uh, weight is really heavy back. And But the end result worked out really well. Like. Jillian is, ends up hitting that backwards roll, which moves her into a really good position. But you see, like time and time again here, like this is a good example of why, because her legs are still crossed, there's not enough weight forward on the legs. If Jillian's legs were straightened out here with her, like she could still cross her feet, but her, she wants her legs straight to the ground. This is what's going to ground the shoulder, right? We really want to be driving that shoulder down to the mat when we tackle Moplata. We also want to make sure we're out on the other hip, right? Like Jillian's kind of being forced down to this left hip. She, ideally for her to finish Omoplata, she needs to be on her right hip. And what's gonna allow her to do that is she needs to pull back the legs to the other side. So because her legs are still kind of hooked to the left here, this is why she's having such a hard time breaking down Carly's posture. So um, I think this was like a good role for both of them. We kind of saw like a good, good competitive match for both these girls. Um, and it's, it's nice to see them roll together. I think they're going to uh, help each other grow a lot on the mats. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys like this breakdown. Uh, I got more coming. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.